Hello, welcome to the Basel 4.3.9 introductory video. This video will help explain some of the changes we've made in this latest release. The main change that was part of this release is around purchasing and receiving. So you can see that the menu items for purchasing and receiving have changed slightly. In the past, there were a number of menu items for purchase orders, as well as a number of menu items for, for receipts, but those have been condensed into one. So if we click on the purchase orders menu item here, you'll see we're presented with a very familiar search screen that we have in the past. And this works just like it has in the past. The difference is that now you can create a purchase order from the same screen. So here, if I wanna create a new PO, I would simply click the new purchase order button and that saves, that creates a new purchase order for me. Now what it also does is it saves it for you automatically. There's no longer a save button. Everything is just done. So you make changes to your purchase order just like you did in the past and now every time you make changes, it is saved for you automatically. So if I go here and I change my uh, vendor to STL distribution, for instance, and then I just click done, then I can come back here and I'll refresh my search. And you can see now that STL distribution is here. And I can double click on that and I can scan in an item or type in an item. And that item gets added automatically. I can click done. And once again, I'll refresh my search, but you can see now that there's a quantity of one on that particular purchase order. The main purchase order screen is now also very different. For instance, you no longer have to double click an item to make changes to many of the details of the item. You can simply hover over here and make changes on the fly. It's important to note that these changes are real time changes. That is, when we change the quantity of three here, anyone else who might have this purchase order open also sees that change immediately. So we broadcast these changes to everyone that's interested in this particular purchase order. So anyone else, if I add a new line, or if I remove a line, if I change the status, if I change the quantity, if I change any of these values, those get broadcast to anyone else who might have this purchase order open. Likewise, if someone else adds a line to this particular purchase order, the line will be automatically added to this particular PO. We mentioned that you no longer have to double click to modify many of the properties of a purchase order line. So now when you double click an item, you actually get the same kind of view that you do when you do a search. You see the inventory list here, you get bibliographic information here, and then all the normal information you're used to seeing where you're doing a search. The difference is, of course, that when you navigate away from this, so if I go to a search screen, for instance, and I were to come back to the purchase order screen, I'm now looking at the same item that I double clicked a minute ago. It's easy to dismiss, dismiss this item. You simply click cancel and that brings you back to the PO. And then if I click done again, then I'm back on my search screen. So if I were to, and if I were to refresh here, you can see that now my distribution has four items. But if I double click here, you can see those are my two items again. And if I double click again, you can see the detail. So we're stacking these screens, I guess you could say, on top of each other. And so if I navigate away, and I navigate back, it's back where I left it. And if I cancel, it goes back down to my PO. And I cancel again, it goes back down to my search. The other part of the navigation that changed within Bazel is the inventory update and the search inventory screens. So if I go to inventory update, I can search for something like blue. And I can double click on an item. And this will show me the same detail that we used to see. If I navigate away from that screen, like to the purchase order search, for instance, and then navigate back, you'll see that on the same item that I double clicked just a moment ago. Now I can dismiss this item by clicking save or cancel. That will take you back to the search inventory screen. Also, if I were to go to search inventory screen and look for something and double click, I can see the details in the same way that I saw in the inventory update screen. So now if I go back to the inventory update, then I can double click and see some detail. And then I can go to the search inventory and I'm on the item that I double clicked. Again, it's easy to dismiss to get back to the search. I can go over to inventory update. It's on the item that I double clicked and then it's easy to dismiss. I can either click save or cancel in this case and get, get back to my search result. I hope this video has helped explain some of the changes we've made in this latest release of Bazel. If you have any other questions or any other concerns, you can always reference the online documentation that's available within, inside of Bazel. We have some release notes here that detail some more improvements as well as bug fixes that we've made to this particular release. 
Also, any changes we make in the next few days after the release of this version will be included in this particular location. So this would be a good reference for you if you have any questions in the future. If you have any other questions, please contact support at support at basilonline.com. We look forward to you using this new version. Thank you.